Hello, dear students, how are you? Welcome to Amader Parshala, presented by Monipur Uchobid Daloy and College. Today, I am going to discuss about Introduction to Animal, Chapter 2, for Class 11 and 12 of Biology, Part 2. Introduction to Animal, that is Chapter 2, includes three animals of three different phyla. One of them is Hydra under the phylum Nidaria, another one is Grasshopper under the phylum Arthropoda, and last one is Rohufish under the phylum Chordata. I have already taken class on this chapter and I have already discussed about Hydra under the phylum Nidaria. And in my last class, I have discussed about Grasshopper where I discussed the uh, external ex uh, feature uh, of the grasshopper and one of the important physiological uh, process that is digestion of grasshopper. Today I am going to discuss two another physiological process of grasshopper. So look at the figure, this is grasshopper. Grasshopper is the creature under the phylum arthropoda. They are arthropods because they have jointed appendages. Look at the figure, there are three pairs of legs present here which are jointed. They have antenna which is also jointed. Their body is covered by exoskeleton made up of chitin. They have compound eyes on their head and mouth parts which is mandibular type or chewing type. Grasshopper is an insect, that is it is under the class, uh, under the uh, class uh, insecta of phylum arthropoda. They are insects because their body is divided into three regions which are head, thorax and abdomen. They have a digestive system which consists of crop, gizzard. They have blood circulatory system which is open type and their uh, 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 respiratory system is tracheal system. They are excretion by Malpighian tubules. So they are insect under the phylum Arthropoda. After today's lecture, student will know the circulatory system and blood circulation of grasshopper and tracheal system and respiration in grasshopper. Let's start with circulatory system in grasshopper. Circulatory system in grasshopper is poorly developed and it is known as open circulatory system or open circulatory system or lacuna type. In this circulatory system, blood uh, which is known as hemolymph uh, pumped through the tubular structure which is heart and comes to the psyllium and basta tissues. So grasshopper has an open circulatory system. The blood starts at the hemolymph, travels through large blood vessels to the psyllium to the abdomen and the heart is an open loop. The hemolymph contains chamber called sinuses. Their blood transfer food and waste but not oxygen or carbon dioxide because blood has no respiratory pigment which can carry respiratory gases. So the blood circulatory system in animal are two types. One is open circulatory system and another is closed circulatory system. Let's start with open blood circulatory system. Open blood circulatory system is the system where blood not confined on only in the blood vessel or heart. Rather, it comes out from the uh, blood vessel and enter into the psyllium and bath the tissues. So, the blood is not always enclosed in blood vessels in case of open circulatory system. Instead, it flows directly into body spaces where it baths the tissues. This is a type of circulation found in mollusks and insects such as grasshopper and snail. Now what is closed circulatory system? Closed circulatory system is a type of blood circulatory system where blood always confined into the heart and blood vessel never comes out from the blood vessel and enters into the psyllium. So in this uh, blood circulatory system the blood is always contained within the tubes or vessels in the body. This is the type of circulation found in many complex organisms such as mammals, birds, fish, reptiles and invertebrate animal earthworms. 
Now we will discuss about the open circulatory system of grasshopper. In open blood circulatory system of the grasshopper, blood pumped by the tubular heart passes through the aorta and into the body spaces where it births the tissues. So, the open blood circulatory system of grasshopper, that is the circulatory system of grasshopper, consists of blood, uh, heart, and body spaces. This blood is known as hemolymph, and this uh, spaces is known as hemocele. So, the blood circulatory system of grasshopper consists of hemocele, hemolymph, and heart. Now, we will discuss one after another these three component of the blood circulatory system of grasshopper. First, we will start with hemocele. What is hemocele? Hemocele is the body cavity which uh, during embryonic development fuses with the blastocele and filled with blood. It is covered by um, ectodermal uh, extracellular uh, matrix rather it covered by peritoneal membrane that is Hemocele is the body cavity which, which is uh, filled with blood and not covered by the mesodermal peritoneal membrane. The hemocele of grasshopper is divided into three chambers by two septum or diaphragm. These two septum are dorsal diaphragm or septum and ventral diaphragm or septum. And these two septum divide the hemocele into three sinuses or chambers which are pericardial sinus, perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus. Look at the figure. Uh, this is the hemocele of grasshopper. This one is the, this one is the, this one is the dorsal diaphragm and this one is the ventral diaphragm. So this is ventral diaphragm and this is dorsal diaphragm. These two diaphragm uh, divides the hemocele into three chambers. One is pericardial sinus, another is perivisceral sinus, and another is perineural sinus. And this um, uh, septum or diaphragm are perforated, so this chamber can easily communicate with each other. Look at this figure. Look at this figure. This is pericardial sinus which enclose heart. This is the heart of the grasshopper which is enclosed within the pericardial sinus. This is perivisceral sinus. This is perivisceral sinus where digestive system and visceral organ are remains. And this is perineural sinus where nerve cord remains. Look at this. This is the nerve cord which remain into the perineural sinus. Perineural sinus remain under the ventral septum. Pericardial sinus remain uh, above the dorsal diaphragm and perivisceral sinus in between the dorsal and ventral diaphragm. So, what are the function of hemocele? Hemocele holds hemolymph. Hemocele contain all the uh, internal organs of the grasshopper body and it transport uh, nutrients and excretory product of in grasshopper. Now we will discuss about hemolymph. Hemolymph is the blood of uh, grasshopper which is named so because it coexists with lymph. So hemolymph is the blood of the grasshopper which coexists with lymph. Hemolymph is a watery fluid colorless and it contains many organic and inorganic substance, many uh, nutrient substance, excretory product, hormone, enzyme, etc. There are 10 percent of the hemolymph is uh, on blood cell which are known as hemocyte and rest of the substance are watery fluid plasma. So hemolymph can be divided into two component, one is plasma and another is hemocyte. Plasma is the colorless watery fluid which contains 70 percent of which is water, rest of is um, uh, glucose, uh, amino acid, protein, uh, fat, glycerol and uh, um, uh, some of the hormone and enzyme etc present there. And blood cell is hemocyte. It is the uh, colorless uh, irregular shaped nucleated cell 
which are resemble to the blood cell, white blood cell of vertebrates. This hemocyte can be divided into three types. One is prohemocyte, another is transitional hemocyte, and last one is large hemocyte. Prohemocyte are in uh, 6 to 9 micrometer in diameter and it comprises 23% of total hemocyte. Next, transitional hemocyte uh, is uh, 9 to 18 uh, millimeter in diameter and it compri comprises 68% of the total hemocyte. And large hemocyte uh, is uh, 18 to 23 uh, micrometer in diameter and it comprises only 9% of total hemocyte. So, hemolymph uh, which I have already mentioned that colorless liquid that burns the insect tissues only 10 percent of them are hemocyte, rest of them is the watery fluid which is plasma. Their function is uh, known as, uh, known functions are phagocytosis, coagulation, encapsulation of foreign objects and wound healing. Composition 90 percent water, hemolymph uh, composition is 90 percent is water, inorganic ions, nitrogenous waste, carbohydrates, lipids, protein, enzyme, pigment and hormones. And function of the hemolymph, we can say that it is lubricant for tissues and internal organs, hydraulic medium, transport medium for nutrients, weights and hormones, storage for amino acid, water and glycerol, heat exchange, immune response and also the movement of wing and the uh, molting of the exoskeleton is also uh, is the contribution of hemolymph. Now we will discuss about the heart of grasshopper. Heart of the grasshopper, it is a tubular structure, elongated tubular structure situated mid dorsally into, into the pericardial chamber. Heart is seven chambered elongated tubular structure and each of the chamber is funnel shaped. Each of the chamber is funnel shaped. If we want to see the shape of the heart chamber, this is like this. This is funnel shaped chamber of the heart of grasshopper. The posterior uh, part of the uh, chamber is broader and the interior one is narrow. The narrow end of uh, the chamber is connected to the wider part of the uh, front chamber and form a seven chambered elongated heart. Each of the chamber has a pair of opening which is known as ostia. And each of the chamber interiorly connected to the another chamber uh, by uh, another uh, uh, opening which is known as uh, uh, by another opening which are guarded by valves. So all the all the opening ostia and another uh, opening all the opening are guarded by valves. Valves ensure the one way direction of the blood when blood, uh, valves remain open then uh, that is when the ostia remain open uh, and uh, with the help of this ostia blood enters from the pericardial sinus into the heart and when one of the chamber is filled with blood then the blood goes to the another chamber through the opening and all of this opening is guarded by the valves. The first chamber of the heart, the first chamber of the heart is continued anteriorly as a tube like structure known as dorsal aorta and last chamber of the heart is also continued as ventral uh, aorta. And there are six pairs of muscle which are known as alary muscle present in either side, uh, each side of the uh, heart chamber. So look at the figure, this is the heart of grasshopper, seven chamber tubular structure, there are seven chamber, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chamber uh, tubular heart. The interior portion that is the first uh, chamber of the heart extends as torsal aorta enters into the head sinus and the last chamber of the uh, heart uh, extends as ventral aorta enters into the anus. Each of the chamber are uh, funnel shaped, their uh, posterior end is broader and the interior part is narrow and these are perforated by two opening which is known as ostia. These are the ostia of the heart chamber. Each of the chamber uh, again connect with the another chamber by another uh, opening. And there are six pairs of muscle. These are known as alary muscle. These are alary muscle. 
the contraction and uh, relaxation of the LRE muscle control the contraction and relaxation of the heart chamber. Now, uh, the circulation of uh, blood circulation through this heart. The blood circulation of the heart is the, um, done with the uh, contraction and relaxation of the LRE muscle. The heart contracts uh, 100 to 110 per minute and when the uh, LRE muscle contract, then uh, blood enters from the pericardial sinus into the uh, heart chamber. And uh, at that time, the heart chamber remain uh, uh, relaxed and the ostia remain open. So, blood uh, from the pericardial sinus enters into the heart chamber. Then when the, all the heart chamber filled with blood, then uh, contraction of the heart chamber occur, which force the blood to go to the, uh, through the anterior aorta or dorsal aorta and enters into the head sinus. There, after uh, washing the, all the um, uh, part of the head, then blood enters into the perivisceral sinus and after that blood enters into the perineural sinus. Within the perivisceral sinus, blood flows through the all of the visceral organ of the body. Then in perineural sinus, blood flows over the nerve, nerve cord and after that blood again enters into the pericardial sinus when LRE muscle contract and after uh, into the from the pericardial sinus, blood enters into the heart chamber. So, when the pericardial, when the LRE muscle contract uh, from the pericardial sinus, blood enters into the heart through the ostia. So, when the uh, LRE muscle contract, the heart remains relaxed position. So, from pericardial sinus, blood enters into the heart chamber through the ostia. Then from the heart, uh, when the uh, chamber of the heart filled with blood, then contraction of the heart chamber occur. So, blood force to goes to the anterior aorta that is dorsal aorta to the head sinus. From the head sinus, blood then enters into the perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus and flows over the organ which remain within these sinuses. Then from the perivisceral sinus and pericardial sinus, LRE muscle contract, so blood enters into the pericardial sinus again. In this way, circulation of blood through the uh, body of the grasshopper occurs. So, look at the figure. This is the heart chamber. When this heart chamber filled with, uh, with blood, uh, by um, uh, when blood enters from the pericardial sinus into the heart chamber, then uh, this chamber filled with blood, then contraction of this chamber occurs. So, blood uh, through the dorsal aorta enters into the head sinus. Then from the head sinus, blood enters into the uh, perivisceral sinus and also in the perineural sinus. Then again from perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus, blood enters, enters into the pericardial sinus. This uh, uh, diaphragm, dorsal diaphragm and ventral diaphragm which uh, makes the coelom into three chamber uh, are perforated. So, blood can easily communicate with, uh, uh, within the chambers uh, easily. Now the respiratory system. The system through which respiration occurs is known as respiratory system. Respir what is respiration now? Respiration is the physiological process through which animal oxidized food and uh, convert the potential energy into kinetic energy. So the respiration is the process by which animal produce energy and um, but with this energy they accomplish their body activities. Now, the respiratory system of uh, grasshopper is different and complex than the uh, vertebrates because the in um, gra grasshopper, the blood do not contain any respiratory pigment. So, blood do not play any role in um, uh, transportation of the uh, respiratory gases. So, in that case, they are in case of uh, grasshopper including other insects. Uh, their body has a network of tube and tubules through which uh, oxygen from the uh, uh, environment directly goes to their cell. And this uh, tube and tubules form the uh, network within the body and form a system which is known as tracheal system. So the respiratory system of grasshopper is known as tracheal system which is made up of trachea, tracheals and uh, spiracles. Now, the tracheal system of grasshopper consists of 
spiracle which are 10 in uh, pairs in number, trachea which are numerous in number, air sac numerous, tracheolar sac numerous and tracheal numerous. So tracheal system consists of spiracle, trachea, air sacs, tracheal cell and tracheole. Look at the figure, this is the uh, tracheal system of grasshopper, uh, these are the spiracle, these are the spiracle, 10 pairs of spiracle present in uh, grasshopper body, uh, among these 10 pairs of spiracle, 2 pairs in uh, thoracic area and rest of the 8 pairs in the abdominal area. Then uh, from the spiracle, the air tube origin which is known, which are known as trachea and trachea togetherly form tracheal trunk, these are the dorsal tracheal trunk, these are ventral tracheal trunk and this is lateral tracheal trunk. These are the air sac also originate from the trachea and from this uh, trachea the tracheole, the narrow fine tube which goes directly to the cell of the grasshopper's body originate which uh, before um, them originate from the tracheolar cell. So this is the tracheal system of grasshopper. Now we will discuss these different uh, component of uh, tracheal system of grasshopper. First we will uh, start with spiracle. Spiracle are the tiny pores uh, which are the opening of the tracheal system that is through which air enters into the body of the grasshopper. Tracheal, uh, tra spiracle are slit like structure slit like structure which is uh, inter interior part of inner uh, margin of which is bordered by uh, bristles or hair like structure which prevent the inter uh, entering of dust uh, germ uh, um, uh, with uh, air. Then the inner wall of the spiracle is also uh, covered by a sclerite which is known as peritrim. This is the peritrim. The opening and closing of spiracle is maintained by a valve. So this is the valve of a spiracle. And there in case of abdominal spiracle, the tiny pore open into a sac like structure which is known as atrium. Atrium is absent in thoracic spiracle that is first two pairs of spiracle lack of atrium. but the rest of the eight spiracle which present in the abdomen of the grasshopper contain atrium. So spiracle is the tiny uh, slit like aperture which has uh, hair or bristle like structure which has inner peritrim covering which has valve and which uh, has the uh, sac like structure known as atrium. This spiracle open to the trachea the air tube. Now we will discuss about trachea. Trachea are uh, uh, elastic tube uh, which uh, scattered all over the body of grasshopper as a net and they are uh, cuticular pipe like uh, apertures and their uh, wall is consist of three uh, layer, uh, outer one is basement membrane and then is the epithelial layer and inner lining is intima. Intima in regular intervals uh, uh, made a thickening uh, ring like structure which is known as tinidia. Due to tinidia uh, the spiracle never collapses if, if it is um, air less condition it never collapses. So tinidia, tinidia prevent the uh, collapsing of the air tube. Though this air tube scattered all over the body as a, a network but some of them arrange a longitudinal manner and transverse manner which is known as tracheal trunk. There are uh, three pairs of longitudinal tracheal trunk in grasshopper which are dorsal tracheal trunk, uh, ventral tracheal trunk and lateral tracheal trunk and transverse tracheal trunk are connected to this. Uh, longitudinal tracheal trunk. Now the air sac, some of the uh, trachea has some um, uh, thin wall sac like structure which is known as air sac. It is the reservoir of air 
oxygen and carbon dioxide in or out by the contraction and relaxation of the abdomen from this air sac. Now tracheals, before the tracheals, the um, trachea ends into a tracheolar sac which is polygonal uh, cell and it has nucleus, cell membrane and other cell organelles. From this tracheolar cell, tracheal originate. Tracheal is a ne network of trachea, they are very thin wall, very uh, narrow and uh, filled with uh, liquid. Trachea filled with air but tracheal filled with uh, liquid. Diameter is less than 1 micrometer and they come in close contact with the cell that is they uh, goes up to the cell of the grasshopper body and carry the oxygen from yeah, environment to the cell and um, uh, exhale the carbon dioxide from cell to the uh, environment. So this is the tracheal system through the spiracle oxygen enters into the body then by the trachea it travels then uh, trachea ends to the tracheal, tracheal goes directly to the cell of the uh, grasshopper body, so oxygen enters from the outside of the environment to inside of the cell. Then uh, similarly carbon dioxide produced within the cell and in the opposite direction through tracheal, then after uh, tracheal they enter into the trachea, then through the spiracle oxygen goes out, uh, carbon dioxide goes out of the body which is known as exhalation. That is all dear student, uh, now you have some homework. Uh, biology teacher said in the class that there was an animal in your textbook that belongs to largest phylum of the animal kingdom. So number one question, A question is what is hemocyl? B, why blood of grasshopper do not play any role in respiration? C, describe the blood circulatory system of the insect which is mentioned in the stem. D, respiration process of the mentioned organism is done by network of tubes. Explain. Thank you dear student, see you soon.